Hey guys, you are watching Jet Plays, and this time we are playing Advance Wars. This originally came out on the Game Boy Advance, and it is out now on the Wii U Virtual Console. It is also one of my all-time favorite games, so I'm really excited to get into this one with you guys. So let's go continue this campaign that I've been playing. So when this game came out in the early 2000s, I was reading... I'm not sure if they were IGN at the time, but it was definitely during the Nintendo 64, the N64.com era version of IGN with Per Schneider and Matt Casamassina, and the thing that stuck out to me was the reviews for this game were amazing. Everyone was saying, and IGN in particular, Matt Casamassina, said this was a must-play game on the Game Boy Advance, and I want to play, I, I'm going to stick with Andy. I like Andy versus Max. Andy is a very all-around type of commander who's CO power gives his en all right gives his troops plus two health and Max is much more of a bruiser in close. I like having a bounced attack going into this. All right, here let's do this. So assessing the situation, Advanced Wars is a turn-based strategy game from Intelligent Systems which is a first-party developer for Nintendo. Oh, hold on, before we do that, let's put the animations on so you guys can see the fights actually play out. I normally play with these off, so... Um, Turn-based strategy game where you've got a whole bunch of troops, and you can also make troops at these bases, and you're trying to capture buildings, which give you more money, which give you more money to buy troops and so on and you're trying to either in most cases you're trying to capture the other person's base so this is my enemy's base over here and we are fighting the guy who's really good at sea he's got three battleships but I've got a battleship and a sub and I've got a boat here to move some dudes so let's take out this battleship first bombs away I remember, man, the memories of this game. I remember it very fondly. I'm, oh, sorry about that. I've probably played at least a hundred hours of this game. Um, it was my first, okay, yeah, let's go take this out. Boom, boom, boom. Like, I'd never played a turn-based strategy game before up until this, and I only tried this out because the reviews were really good. When I first heard of this game, I said, eh, turn-based doesn't really sound like my type of game, but wow, when I played this and just discovered the amazing gameplay, oh, I don't know if I want to do that, because this guy is going to roll up on me. Alright, I think I'm going to, do I want to put him out as a decoy? Yeah, let's do that. So, I'm going to send this guy on here. Or maybe I send, yeah, I'll send the guy as a decoy. So do that. Drop him here. Move this tank up. Move this guy over here. That's, alright, that's fine. And there was just something about the way that it balances all its troops. And let's, let's move the boat over just outside range so we can park it nice and easy yeah just the the strategy that's involved and the importance of taking care of your troops and trying to beat the other guy it's so I find it really fun and this was I've beaten this game I don't know a dozen times and I introduced a bunch of my friends in high school to this game and we played so much Advance Wars. Yeah, I, this guy intentionally is going to get wrecked really good. That's fine. I want first hit on that big tank. So I'll take it. Yeah, so when this game came out during my high school days, we would play this all the time. I think the 
the the worst thing we did I wouldn't say worst but one of my high school classes I won't name which one we all sat in the back corner of the class and during movies and stuff we would just pass <laughs> my Game Boy Advance around and play Advance Wars <laughs> actually in that same class we would go a step further where I actually we had oh man I gotta stop doing that I'm sorry I'm resting the Wii U gamepad on my lap which is triggering the virtual console menu when the triggers hit my leg all right so this guy is yeah okay we'll be fine and let's let's rock this boom my my two friends John and Wendy also had Game Boy Advance advances and I had the link cable so of course during this particular class we sat in the back corner and when movies would come up we would I would run the cable behind, like, under the desks and against the wall, and we would play Mario Kart with each other while watching movies in class. Um, kids, don't... just don't do that. <laughs> uh, don't follow my lead. I ended up being okay in the end, but... Still, that's not a way to... You gotta take school more seriously than that. Okay, how do I wanna do this? This guy's just out of my range. This guy's in. So, let's... Let's bomb on this guy first. Yeah, so, Advance Wars. This series was out in Japan for many years. At least a decade before it finally came out in North America. And the first game sold really well. It, I mean, it wasn't putting up Super Mario numbers or anything, but it was enough that Nintendo put out a whole bunch of sequels to it. And I think the series eventually petered out with Advance Wars Days of Ruin on the DS, where... Do I want to play it this way? I could... Hmm. So how do I want to do this? I, I could run my guys up here. I'm either thinking try and capture these buildings, or park my boat on this seaport so that he can't build any more ships. Mm, I think I'll sit here for now. I'll play conservatively. Let's do that. And I'll need... Do I need another... Maybe one more tank? Oh no, I've got... Oh, I've got a... Got a okay. Yeah, let's build one more tank. Let's do that. Okay. I should probably... Uh-oh. This is not good. Oh no, this is Olaf. He's not the best seaport guy. He's just the, the snow guy. So one of the things about... Advanced Wars, which I sort of touched on, is that... After a certain point in combat, I think you get it through engaging in battles... That you build up a meter that kind of swings all the way around your icon and when it's glowing that means you can use it and Andy's power is he gets two health back Olaf triggers a blizzard which m messes up my maneuverability I don't want to do this um, I could bomb on yeah let's bomb on this guy and then I'll use big tank to take this guy out Let's roll to get these guys in here. So, have this guy swing around. So, another game that this developer also makes, in case you are wondering, they also do Fire Emblem. Uh, you, it, the similarities are pretty clear in, ter in, in the sense that they're both turn based strategy games. The big difference is that this is a war game. And you have... There's an economic element to it where you're trying to manage your resources. You can... You can keep building on your resource. You can... Oh, man, he blocked it. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do this. You can keep generating troops for as... Whatever amount of money you have. Oh, this guy's getting in close. I got a, I got a bomb on him. If 
versus Fire Emblem where the characters you have, if they die once, they're they're dead forever. Let's park right here. Wait, hold on. Let's check the ranges on that. Okay, maybe not. I'm gonna park right here though. That's cool. And build some soldiers. Ooh, they got another big tank. I wanna build a battleship. Okay, we'll save money for that. So yeah, the big difference is um, a money system where you have to manage your funds to buy more troops versus Fire Emblem, which is the same set of guys throughout the campaign, but they level up gradually as you go and you give them items to get better and all that type of stuff. And for the longest time, I considered both series to be equally good, though over of late, I find... I think that Advance Wars is the better. Not Advance Wars. I think Fire Emblem's the better of the two. I really like the stories with that come with the Fire Emblem games. Or ah, I gotta stop doing that. I'm sorry, guys. I love the the stories and the epicness of the whole thing, and which just this doesn't have as much of. They tried it with Advance Wars: Days of Ruin, where they made it really dark and gritty, but it didn't work out. And I find, like, from a gameplay perspective, you can run into really weird situations where you just stalemate against someone. And when that happens in this game, you're just... You could fight forever. <laughs> and it's gonna take... It could take a really long time before someone breaks the stalemate and finally takes over. Versus Fire Emblem, where the nature of the matches just goes faster but to fire to advance wars credit advance wars has multiplayer and fire emblems multiplayer is really weak versus advance wars where multiplayer for pass and play i think up to four players is amazing when you've got four four generals just trying to outmaneuver each other it's 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 a beautiful thing and without any sort of I mean, there's no online play here, so I, having online play in an Advance Wars game would be amazing. Although, I think there'd be concerns with it going too slow. But still, I mean, the, the thought of that is enough to get me going, so to speak. <laughs> Something I would be really excited to see. Alright, this guy's almost dead. I need to ship this guy over. Let's move him over here. And... Can I build a battleship yet? No, I can't build another one. Alright, I need to capture this, because this is going to get messy very soon. And how many shots do I have left? Oh, I got a lot of shots, and I got a lot of gas. Okay. 91. This guy is almost out of shots. He's got two shots left. <clears throat> but I, th I think his usefulness is going to be up for this particular match. Yeah, let's, let's, let's end this. I'm doing really well right now. Okay, he's trying to free up. This is where I get him. Do I bomb on him, or do I... Okay, yeah. I'm gonna bomb on him from here. This tank in particular. Let's take out the big, most expensive thing and go nuts. I was also thinking of stalling and grabbing... Just parking on his... Naval base, but... Oh, why'd I do that? That's gonna take up even more gas. Let's fire on this guy. Yeah, this was the game that put me on to turn-based strategy games. So, I mean, beyond Advance Wars, I also play Fire Emblem. I've played a couple of iOS ones. And I also played XCOM Enemy Unknown. Maybe I should do a Let's Play of that at some point. That would be fun. I, I love that game as well. And it is just a brilliant modern take on that formula. Here we go. Let's move this guy in here. I really wish there were more... Oh, what's it called? We should talk about, I guess, the latest Fire Emblem game. I mean, it came out last year, but that's okay. Fire... I, I realize I've got myself in the dilemma. That tank is probably dead. Oh, wait. I can... 
Here, I'd rather do this. Let's do that. I know this big tank is gonna get hurt, but that's okay. At least I can take out his big tank. I guess the last Fire Emblem game was... Fire Emblem... Is it called Awakening? On the 3DS? Phenomenal game. If you've got a 3DS, like, just go, go pick that up. Do it. Wholeheartedly recommend that to just about anyone, unless you vehemently hate turn-based strategy games or just aren't into this particular genre. But if there is one of this style of game that you should try, Fire Emblem's definitely one of them. I'd say probably your best bet is XCOM. Nonetheless, this is a genre that I love, and I wish there were more, but I don't think these style of games sell particularly well. Uh-oh, here we go, another blizzard. Uh-oh. Make it rain. I will say, just looking at um, the video capture here, it looks really good. At least in the zoom down window, the conversion here is great. Um, I'm playing this on a 21, 23 inch screen. A little more pixelated, but it still, it works. It works, it's good. Alright, let's use my CO power now, just cause. And how much gas do I have? Okay, this thing's about to... This thing's gonna... Okay, let's rise. There's no point in me. Now I'll continue to bomb on him from here. Approaches. Okay, yeah, I'll use this guy to kill this. I guess while we were talking about Nintendo stuff, Wii U, Virtual Console, all that, um, we've got some big games coming up for Nintendo real soon. Mario Kart is... When's Mario Kart coming out? Mario Kart's coming out in May. The beginning of May. I, I don't know how to feel about that. I, the videos have looked great, admittedly, and I like the fact that the Koopa Kids are in there. That's a nice touch, but man, Mario Kart 7 sucked really bad, and I fear that Mario Kart 8 is going to be more like that, because they already look so similar. I mean, I guess you can make a case that all Mario Karts look similar, but this one in particular looks to share a lot from Mario Kart 7, and I really did not like that game. So, Mario Kart 8, I don't know if I'm going to take that plunge. Alright, clear those guys out. But there's still... There's other stuff on the 3DS. The Mario Golf is coming out. I'm really excited for that. Mario Kart... Mario Golf on the Nintendo 64. One of my all-time favorite games. Oh, he's blocking the smart. Smart. The, the computer is blocking his C port so that I can't just clog it because only one thing can be on a space at a time and if I block this he cannot build. So I'm going to sneak up on him anyway. Hope for the best. I don't think I need to build any more troops. Eh, let's do Oh yeah, I want another battleship just because. Let's do that and we'll build another APC. Drive that guy over. I mean, yeah, the PlayStation 4 has been selling like gangbusters, the Xbox One, it's got Titanfall, I still haven't played that yet. I have $200 saved in in-store credit that someday will be used for an Xbox One, uh, just not right now. Oh man, I was banking on the kill there, now I'm just kind of stuck. And that guy's not gonna reach. Oh, I can do this. Just total overkill. And I feel bad for that one guy getting hit by a barrage of shells from a battleship. Just imagine that. That's too much. Yeah, we'll we'll finish out this level before 
we call it a day. Um, swing around here. Do I want to use that guy, or... Yeah, I have to use this guy. That mech is... This guy here is going to wreck my... Wreck this tank afterwards, but that's okay. Minimal losses. And, I mean, some other things going on, on the video streaming side, or video recording side. Sony's latest firmware... I think it's 1.7 that's going to take away the HDCP. That's supposed to be out very soon. It, they've said in the next few weeks, could be any day now, presumably. And once that HDCP is disabled for games, I'll be able to record video for PS4 stuff. I haven't played... My PS4 has been turned on once in the last two months or so, just to download the free PlayStation Plus stuff. Haven't really been all that interested in it, but I think being able to record some of that stuff will. Um, I want to play some Mercenary Kings and Outlast. In particular, I'm not... I don't handle scary very well, so recording my reactions on that could be fun. Uh-oh, here we go. He's, he's on the ropes right now. There's not much he can do. Oh, he's built a sub. Okay. Alright, that's how you want to play. We better hit this sub with the business right now. Before he gets any more traction. I want to help the guys on the... Here, let's do this. Hit this lander. Can my... Oh, oh okay, I can hit the sub. That's great. Um, how do I want to do this? Okay, I will clear this guy out. Oh no, I can do this. Even better. Excellent. I don't remember what I was talking about. Where were we at? Was it Advanced War stuff? Was it Wii U? Oh, uh, Video Capture. PS4. Yeah, that's coming soon. So... I'm looking forward to making videos for that. Alright, I just want to wrap this up. <laughs> this is a little longer than how I usually record these videos. Taxing on my Canadian bandwidth. We don't we don't get all that much here, so I need to monitor it very carefully. 94, 85. Let's wreck this guy. The other guy can't do damage. Nice. So what else is going on with me? The Raptors, they're they're going to the playoffs. It's the first time in... Oh, I should have fired on that thing, just because. First time in five years that the Raptors have been to the playoffs. And they've only been to the playoffs a handful of times in their 19 years in the NBA. They've been... They've had a history of mediocrity <laughs> that is... Hopefully going to turn around. They've got a great team this year, and they just clinched, as of recording, they just clinched the Atlantic Division title, only the second time in the team's history that they've done that. So congratulations to them. Looking forward. I've got my tickets for the playoffs. It was actually a funny story. Uh, the I got I got the an opportunity to buy pre-sale tickets, and so things fell apart really quickly where Tickets for the playoff games are already almost sold out the instant the pre-sale started. I could not get a pair of seats anywhere. So Steph and I decided to buy individual seats. So I bought a ticket for game one, and she accidentally bought a ticket for game three. So at that point, she then buys a ticket for game one, and then we have one extra ticket for game three, and I'm like, this makes no sense. Like, we can't do anything with one ticket to Game 3, so I just buy another ticket for Game 3. So now we're going to two playoff games. And then my parents are coming with us to Game 1. They're sitting... We're all sitting in individual seats, but I noticed that all my family seats are sitting right by me, and Steph is sitting at the other side of the arena. So I said, you know what, let's go a little closer. I go back and I buy another ticket for Game 1. So <laughs> between the two of us... 
we bought, I think like one, two, three, four, like six tickets to the playoffs. And yeah, we just bought all the tickets to the games and we spent way more money on that than I had originally planned. So, um, going to lots of playoff games and that's going to be great. I'll be there to support the team, but man, my, my credit card is crying tears of sadness. <laughs> Boom, boom, boom. I'm still reading comic books. Lots of comic books. The next ish... Not next issue. I've been reading too many comic books. The next edition of Let's... Of Jet Plays is going to be one for Injustice Gods Among Us. And we're going to be talking about all things Batman. And if I have time left in the video, we'll be talking about other DC Universe comics. So you know what? I want to finish this on video, though. Just to prove that I actually did take care of business here. That's running long. That's okay. Let's let's do this. I'm gonna block his base so he can't build anymore. That's that's a good call. Oh okay. Drive here. Drop this guy. We take his seaport so he can't build anything else. Roll this guy in. And start capturing. I'll blow up the shit too just cause I mean, I, could, I guess I could have sped things up by turning off the animations, but I don't think that watching numbers go down makes for an interesting Let's Play. Alright, here comes a snowstorm one more time. Yeah, good luck with that, guys. <laughs> of the Advance Wars games, there's probably... I think there's four or five of them that have hit international release. There's more if you live in Japan. This one's my favorite. I think that the series kind of gets a bit bloated as time goes by. And I think in particular, the last one, Days of Ruin, I just did not like from a tone perspective at all. This is the last stand of this guy. Let's just just take care of this. I guess what I should have done, now in hindsight, instead of... One of the things I love about this game is either trying to defeat all of his troops or capture the base. I probably could have concentrated on my sea stuff and just went straight for the base rather than fighting this land war. But, oh well. That's part of the beauty of this game. One of my favorite... Advance Wars moments occurred against one of my friends in high school where we played this one map where it was two islands and the the bases were right beside each other basically just split by one block of water and it was a fog of war match so he started building troops getting ready for the ground attack and instead I immediately rushed him his headquarters with a helicopter and one soldier and just flew straight into his headquarters took it over before he could take it out and I won within like three or four moves when he was expecting a much longer battle that made me feel like a military genius and all right let's supply these guys this is this is almost done he pretty much just has these troops left so I guess we will we'll wrap it up here. I'm going to start the credits, and by the time I've all done this level, this should all be done. So thank you so much for watching Jet Plays. Always appreciated And whenever you guys watch these videos. If, you, if you're liking what you're watching, you can check out more of these videos at... U oh man, you still got more dudes. <laughs> so much for that. You can check out more of my videos at youtube.com slash jet in third person that's j-e-t-t -T, and then in third person that's all in one word you can check out my my site at in third person.com for podcasts articles and more videos about video games comic books board games and just whatever the heck i feel like writing about at the time and on twitch i haven't really done any streaming yet in any 
with any earnest, but I will at some point. That's uh, twitch.tv slash jet in third person. So I guess we'll just wrap the Okay, let's take these guys out. I can't say that, oh, I'm going to play till I finish and then not finish. I got I got to do this. So that was probably overkill. That's fine. Okay, I'm going to get this guy to sit here. This guy's going to kill him. Almost, damn it. That's what happens now. I can't I can't just park on his spot, so he's going to be able to build at least one more thing. All right. Well, he better make it good. Okay, it's just another tree. This should end in very quickly. I promise. Boom. And with these two guys, let's... Aw, oh man, that's not going to reach. I'm starting to think this isn't going to be the last turn. I don't think I have enough dudes now that I think about it. Uh, okay. I, no, no, no. I can make this work. I can make this work. Check this out. So this, this, I take out these guys. This guy rolls around. Yeah, I've got this. And one more move, and that should just about do it. There we go. Bodied. So free. I probably could have done that way faster if I had concentrated on my C attack, but that's okay. I got it. Alright, let's see what my rating is. See, yeah, see, I, I could have done faster, but I still got the A. I'll take it. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching Jet Plays. Don't forget, check out InThirdPerson.com for more articles, podcasts, and videos. And until next time, thanks, and hopefully you'll come back for the next one.